Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. Please subscribe to DP Tutorials and click on the bell icon for notifications. In the last tutorial, we have seen the assigning notebook labels to Primera P6 GAN chat bars. Now in this tutorial, let us see the simpler way to add attachments to the GAN chat. This is my sample schedule. Suppose we want to add more details to the activity FR1 on the GAN chat. First, we need to select the activity FR1 in the table view and go to view in the menu bar and go to attachments and click on text. We will see this cut in the later version. When you click this, you will see a pop-up which is a text attachment dialog box also displaying the activity ID of the activity that we have now just selected. Type your text here in this window. For example, I'm typing as, please refer to the latest revision of the drawings. You can click on the font button to adjust the font settings like font, style and its size. Okay, now click on this OK button. See here in the Gantt chart, a text field has been shown like this. When you click on this text, you can see a text box labeled with the respective activity ID. You can click on the edge of the box and then make the text box as per your desired appropriate length. You can also move this text box to the desired location by just hovering on the box and then dragging it. You can as well delete by selecting the box and pressing delete button on keyboard. Okay. And now let us see the other option of attachment that is curtains. Suppose you want to black out certain period in your schedule because of some weather change or festive season. You can highlight this period as a curtain showing a non-working time. Go to view. Click on Attachments, select Curtain and then click on Add Curtain button. Now in this Curtain dialog box, you need to mention the start and end date of the non-working period. Say last year's Christmas season from 20th December to 4th January 2021. You can set the color and pattern in this dialog box. This is how the curtain attachment will look like in the Gantt chart. Double click on the curtain and if you uncheck this toggle and click OK, the curtain will disappear. And you can reactivate whenever you want to show it in this Gantt chart. If you want to delete it completely, double click again and press the delete button. You can change the curtain period by just hovering on the edges and then dragging as per the requirement to the left and to the right. You can also move the whole curtain along the timeline by just left clicking on the curtain and dragging to the new position. Please note that this text and curtain attachment can also be saved as a layout in your schedule. So friends, this is the easiest way one can add text of the curtains to Primera P6 GAN chat bars. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on a new feature. If yes, please give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe to DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.